Hi, we are well into the month of August where actually Jupiter is going direct on 11th of August and the same day Uranus goes retrograde. So I would say where your intelligence is playing a great part and you're completely now ready to implement whatever changes you wanted to make or whatever your thoughts have been uh, there when Jupiter was retrograde, now is the time to put them into action. But Uranus going retrograde can make you confused, can make you feel that are you doing the right thing? These are the questions that are going to come into your mind. Now you must understand that the planets are all there to make your life very, very interesting. Either they confuse you or they completely put you into a query mode. So well, Jupiter tells you, trust yourself, be confident, whatever plans that you have been making, now is the time to implement them. So even while Uranus is trying to tell you, caution, take, uh, you know, or is trying to confuse you by saying, hey, wait a moment and check whether you're doing the right thing or not. Trust me, listen to your gut intuition, listen to your sixth sense. Do not get misled by Uranus's retrograde. Do not allow yourself to be confused. Have your clarity of thoughts and trust your own self, your inner voice always speaks the truth. Well, Aquarius, the month of August for you, uh, the, uh, the month suggests that you will feel most at one with yourself if you are really connecting on an intellectual level with people that you are fond of. So find yourself an amazing conversational partner and give yourself permission to really explore the brainy territory. And you know, it just might be a good idea to go for a walk while you talk so that you're really your mind jogs and sometimes your feelings can also take precedence over your intellectualism so emotional iq uh, emotional uh, quotient and the intelligence quotients go side by side and it's if you're thinking something deep about certain projects Talking it out with a person who can understand you is of paramount importance. A whole lot of awesome is in store for you and your visions for the future are really, really, really very good, very bright, very creative and very visionary and that's going to be clearer to you than ever before. So don't forget to write all your ideas down on a piece of paper or e even when you've had the intellectual conversations Coming back home and writing down all what you feel will give you a lot of confidence high. Now, how clear are you about your emotions is what you need to question yourself. Take out some quality time with your feelings. Try something new this month and take it slow. Take it one thing at a time. Don't rush into things. In regards to your love and relationship, well, this month you need to know that you are a complex and a deeply emotional person and you have loved on different levels. But as your very human quest for love and connection continues, one thing you do want to keep in mind is the intellectual con uh, connection. And that's important for you and that is actually what will help your relationship to last. So you want to be able to commune with them on the level of ideas, on the level of how you both experience the world, what you think and how you want to approach things. So even if you feel that the present relationship is not going or it is not producing the kind of results that you want, chances are that the communication is missing. So don't feel that kind of a disconnect. Try connecting before you actually disconnect. So you must give it your best shot, you must communicate, do not be afraid of the consequences but rather than doing it aggressively, it's always nice to have a very very nice calm approach and express yourself that this is what you expect out of a relationship. If it works well and good, you could probably start a new bond. If it doesn't work, then disconnecting becomes easier and you could probably get on to fresher pastures. So it's very important for, uh, for you to feel yourself during this month and also to express yourself. In regards to your career, the horoscope predicts that it's great when your projects get a lot of emotional reactions. 
Now that's a prediction. But what you need to do is you need to get your emotions sorted out, even where personal and professional life is concerned. Your professional emo uh, emotions should be strictly professional. Do not mix your personal and professional together. It's only when you mix the two. That means carry the baggage of your home to your profession or vice versa, the baggage of your profession to your home is that we, you actually get screwed up and things cannot be gratifying. So instant gratification is not going to work in your case. What you really find most intensely gratifying is the intensity of the intellectual engagement that you are experiencing with your audience. So whether you are a dancer or whether you are a motivational speaker or whether you are in a creative profession or whether you are in a management position, you need to command. And only those people can become good commanders who know how to listen also. So you need to sort out your fundamentals and you need to be mentally stimulated by whatever you are doing. So if you are passionate about your work and if you feel that this is the thing what you wanted to do but actually it is not going the way that you uh, expected it to go so now is the time where you can actually rejuvenate yourself restructure yourself redetermine yourself or probably find a fresher pasture in regards to your health and fitness well the um, uh, zodiac sign demands and um, wants you to know that nobody is perfect, not even you. But that does not mean you shouldn't try. So go to the pool. If you don't like exercise, find new ways of sweating it out. There are people who have picked up their sports and this passion of sports can actually become a redeemer to your health. So it's important for you to do things rather than the run of the mill. You need to do things which invigorate you, which you are passionate about. It could be yoga, it could be thorough gymming, it could also be just pranayam or it could also be just going out into the wilderness all by yourself and go out for that run. The more you are with, in sync with yourself, in with your own tune, you sweat it out the way you enjoy most, Trust me, the productive levels, whether they are personal or professional, will be to your advantage and you could be mindful of the things that are happening around you. All this applies to all the zodiac signs. Trust yourself, be confident, get your priorities correct and yes, last but not the least, the way they say, charity begins at home. Know yourself, know your happiness, know what can make you comfortable, only then can you make others comfortable. So go ahead, manifest your dreams, go ahead, manifest and have conviction of your thoughts because whatever you do with the passion is bound to be successful. And of course, for my lucky days, for the money days, for the honey days and uh, for the days which can be stressful, you need to check out my website because all the dates are there.